I have a high amp model that we, you know, we'll sell this. We're going to put the charts up for it. Um, you know, got, got this for a customer that's in a high wind area, 12 to 15 miles an hour all the time. He's putting it up on about a three-story house, so it's appropriate. So, you know, this is a 12-volt system here today, and we're going to show you the output. You know, one of the things that they say about these type of PMAs, that they don't turn easy. So, you know, we can still make heavy windings and put them in here. We can still make a decently low cut in. Now, a 600 RPM cut in on a wind turbine is unacceptable. Okay, so, so, the thing that I want to talk about real quick is cut in points and how they relate to wind power and what you should choose when you're deciding on what kind of PMA that you should get. So, I have here a tachometer and I have a drill that's marked so we can get an idea of what the cut in for this would be. So in low wind, you know, around 150 RPM, you see a lot of the manufacturers trying to get that to come in in that area because, you know, there's more power available in the higher winds, but if you don't get that kind of wind speed coming through on a regular basis, the turbine sits there idle. So when we get into a higher wind zone, you know, for, for the turbine to cut in at a higher RPM, 2, 250, 300, 350, that's appropriate. Um, so what we're going to do is just demonstrate where this one comes in at. I'm going to start to turn this guy real slow here. And then this thing... Okay, you start to see some amps. Oh, good. Found a cut in point there. So, I don't know, can, can you see that on there, Right, we're right at 300. I can feel the resistance against the drill, that's where we're at, right at 300, 308, and as you start to cut into it from there, you start to come on up in the power. Now this drill doesn't have as much power and torque in it as the other one did, so I mean we went up to about 20 amps there, but you know, it's not that we can't build something with a heavy wire. Okay, so I mean this is pretty good for a 12 volt model, I think. 